Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, very uh, pleased to be able to speak to part two of the Social Housing Reform Flexible Purchasing and Remedial Matters Bill. The title of part two is Remedial and Other Matters, um, which might suggest to people who are reading this at home that, uh, that, it was, that there's just a few kind of little rats and mice uh, bits and pieces in part two. But actually, um, clauses uh, 20 and 21 in particular have, have some very important changes uh, to the way housing policy is developed uh, in New Zealand and, and the way the government uh, takes advice on housing policy. What Clause 20 does uh, is that it actually says that Housing New Zealand no longer has the purpose of providing policy advice. Uh, and you know, this is, this is housing, housing New Zealand, the clue is in the name about who is, best, who, is, who is best positioned to provide housing advice Roughly. to the government, Roughly. it might be, at a guess, the organisation called Housing New Zealand. But apparently that's not, not good enough for this government. So I would like to know, since we are passing this under urgency, um, since there has been no select committee process, I want to know, where's the documentation, where's the evidence, where's the consultation process that the government went through that led it to the conclusion that Housing New Zealand was not the best government agency to provide advice on housing? Right. Minister, please, or maybe Chris Bishop, he's got a lot to say, maybe he could get up and actually tell us where this idea came from that Housing New Zealand is not the government agency to provide housing advice. I want to know. Normally, if this bill went through the normal processes where the public actually got to come and have their say, uh, where this was properly consulted on and considered and we got to see the evidence, we might not agree with the position that the government got to, but would have an idea of how they got there. So it is absolutely just the most important thing that the government gets up and explains to us where this idea come from. Because at the moment, on this side of the House, in the absence of that explanation, it looks like a pretty harebrained scheme to us. That, the, that, that Housing New Zealand is not the organisation that will provide housing. Maybe the government has lost confidence in Housing New Zealand. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why. I have absolute confidence in my local branch of Housing New Zealand. The people who work there are amazing. They work, they suffer. They wouldn't say this, they would never say this, but my observation is they suffer under absolutely appalling policy settings from this government, and they have to do things that they just don't believe in, but they are committed public servants, they implement government policy, but they do it in a way that is as constructive as possible, and they know what the needs of their community are. They know the housing needs of their community, and maybe that's the exact reason why this government doesn't want to get advice from them, because the advice that they will be giving this government is not what they want to hear. I think that's the reason, and in the absence of any better explanation from the government, I think we have to all assume that is the reason. So I hope the next call from the National Party is not a closure motion. I hope that it's actually an explanation of Clause 20, why it's necessary, and what led them uh, to that decision. Clause 21 provides that research and monitoring by Housing New Zealand does not include research and monitoring to advise on policy issues. So I'm, I, I'm actually at a bit of a loss to know what research and monitoring function is actually going to be remain required of Housing New Zealand because they're no longer giving policy advice, they are no longer um, managing the waiting lists, they are no longer interacting with the tenants. What research and monitoring does Housing New Zealand actually have to do if it no longer has a policy function either? And what will be, what will be done with that research and monitoring? Again, is this the kind of information that the government doesn't want to listen to because it knows its policies are wrong? It knows that if there's 
any consideration, if there's any sunlight applied to their policy at all, it will be found out for being full of holes. Is that why this government wants to remove the monitoring function from Housing New Zealand? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, uh, Joe Hayes. Mr. Chairman.